Hi guys, it's Donna at Face Paints for You, back as promised doing another video on everything to do with face painting. In this video I'll be talking and showing you all the different brush strokes that are very essential for face painters. And especially beginners should really practice all these brush strokes. One thing I wanted to say is you have to remember this technique. It's thick to thin, thin to thick technique. And this is used in literally everything. With teardrops, line work, leopard print, tiger stripes, curls, swirls, literally everything. So always remember thick to thin, thin to thick technique. So as I said, it's used with everything. So let's start off with the teardrops. And what I was meaning in regards to thin to thick, thick to thin is a teardrop starts by thick going to thin or you can do it from thin to going to thick. So again, let's do one that's going downward, downwards. So again, thick and it goes to thin or you can do one going upwards, thick to thin. There is some people that do like to do, especially when they have difficulties doing these kind of um, teardrops, there is some other people that like to do it from thin to thick. So again, thin to thick, thin to thick. I prefer doing the other ones. I think it gives you a much nice, cleaner, crisp line. Uh, but again, if you have difficulties doing it, you're more than welcome to try that other way. Or it's always best to know both ways anyway. Um, as sometimes I do use um this you know i do do teardrops this way as well it just depending on what kind of design i'm doing um, again to do a teardrop you put your brush down press really all the way down and as you pull in up and you flick that's how you do it so please practice 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 as practice makes perfect so other teardrops you can do is ones that can maybe go to the side so I may have one going to this side, curling round, or you may have another one curling round th the other way. You may want to do some other ones going round and getting smaller and smaller and smaller. I do use this a lot either for wings or around the eyes. Again, loads of different designs. It's completely up to you. You know, your options are endless. Um, so yeah, always practice all your teardrops. Teardrops you can even maybe do a sunflower example. Again, push, push in like this. So... something like that and then in the middle of course with the yellow you would do it you'd fill in the middle and that's a beautiful white sunflower okay so next teardrops can be again from larger to smaller on the top of the nose I like to do ones that go upwards and I usually like to do something like that um, sometimes I use this sort of design as well by doing like a shell and I use this on a mermaid design so again keep practicing and then you'll see your options are completely endless with doing teardrops There's loads of different ones uh, I will be passing on to curls and swirls now but um I'm just going to do your quick curl here, going down, again, thin to thick, back to thin with curls. Uh, and again, you can go back the other way, thin to thick to thin. Uh, just depends, again, what kind of design I'm doing. I may go start from the middle, go outwards, or I may start from the, um, from the bottom and go inwards completely up to you again depends how you find it the only reason why I said I'm passing to curls and swirls now is because I can add teardrops to it so I may add something like this going round beautiful design that can come out of curls and swirls with teardrops all together uh, curls and swirls again a curl you can even add two curls so of course you can have a curl going to the left you can have a girl going to the right a bigger one smaller one completely up to yourself uh, you can even add 
curls to other curls. So example like this one. Sorry, it's overlapping that one, but you, you get what I mean. And again, you might want to do some teardrops. Again, going in like that, one, two, three, and getting smaller. They look really pretty. Or you might have some larger teardrops coming down here. Like that. But when you start practicing, you'll see, you know, what goes together, what doesn't, what you're good at, what you're not good at. You just have to continue practicing. There is another curl or swirls. Uh, there's a double one, a double curl. So again, I would do a normal curl. And then all I would do is like that. And that's called a double curl or a double swirl. Sorry, I think my brush was a little bit wet there. So, um, the next thing I wanted to touch upon is line work. Again, line work, as I said, is again with a thin to thick technique of going thin to thick to thin to thick to thin. Again, always practice. Even with line work, um, I always use this technique. Like, for example, if I'm doing a, a smiley face, if I draw the face with a line all the same size, it just looks dull. And it doesn't give it any character. But if you see now that I draw the face with a thin to thick to thin line, it gives it so much more character and it makes it stand down and pop. It looks so much better. It just, I don't know, it gives it like a 3D look as well. So, tiger stripes. Tiger stripes, what I would do again, I would do from thin push down on my brush as I curl around and pull. Again from the other side, thin to thick to thick, uh, to thin, sorry. So that's another good practice. Again, on the tip of your brush, thin to thick and thin again and you pull your brush back up. Then, even with leopard print, again, exactly the same. It's thin to thick to thin. So, I would start with thin to thick to thin. So again, and I might do some smaller ones, thin, thick, thin. Sorry, thin, thick, to thin again. And again. So as I was saying with the leopard print, exactly the same. Thin to thick, to thin back round. With leopard print, you can even do some that are some dots. Oh, really quickly before I let you go. With a filbert brush, you can do teardrops. I forgot to tell you whilst I were doing the teardrops. So really quick, I just wanted to let you know, you can do the filbert brush, but with a filbert brush, you have to remember to turn it. So again, you brush down and pick up. So as you turn the filbert brush, it has got a really thin point. So when you put your brush down, you won't be able to, of course, do a straight one like that. Uh, what you would have to do is you would put it down as you would do a normal teardrop and then to do a straight one what you would do is you, as you pull in you'd slowly turn your filbert brush and lift at the same time. So what I would advise you is that you practice all these brush strokes as much as you can and when you can. The more you practice the better you'll become. I really hope this video has helped you out and if it has please let me know by giving me a big thumbs up. 
And thank you very much for watching this video up to this point. And to say thank you, I've done a small bonus video for you to watch. All it is is a small design that I've tried to use as many brush strokes as possible that we have spoken about in this video. The design is the one that you can see on the screen right now. So if you're interested to see how I do this, please keep watching. As you can see, I have already got done a heart design in the background with a sponge and a rainbow cake. Um, then I started outlining it by doing some curls. Then I would outline, do a small curl at the bottom and exactly the same on the other side. Then I went on doing a few teardrops from bigger to smaller going inwards at the top of the heart. Then I thought of doing two curls coming out on both sides of the heart. So two nice big curls. Then I thought of doing these, I would call them little sprogs actually, um, but I'm not sure what you would call them. Um, but I think they're in the teardrop family. So what you would do is a really thin line and then you'd push your brush down like you were doing a teardrop. Um, it's just the thin line at the beginning is just a lot longer than a normal teardrop, let's say. So I do quite a few of them, some smaller ones and some larger ones on both sides. Then as you can see, I do three flowers, one bigger than the other. And then I go get a black diamond, uh, white diamond effect, sorry, and I do a couple of dots in the middle of the flowers. Then with the same Diamond FX White, again I do three teardrops on the inside of the heart and these are going upwards. Then a few more white spots all around the flowers. Don't forget when you do dots, always do some smaller ones, some medium and some large. And don't forget with your brush, load it up nice and properly because you'd get nice round dots when your brush is loaded nicely. A few more spots. Okay, then I do some more spots on top of the teardrops and do some tiny tiny little white teardrops inside um, those little sprogs and then I do some small dots going bigger from the middle and getting smaller as it goes out on the side of the heart. I really hope you like this design it was just a quick design that I came up with and if this video has helped you in any way, please don't forget to let me know by giving it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you will be notified of any future videos I will be uploading. And if there's any other videos that you would like me to do, please let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching. Bye guys.